All right, so we are looking at the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 Smartphone Stabilizer. This kit consists of several items. Item one is the smartphone stabilizer. Item two is the magnetic phone clamp. Item three is the grip tripod here. Item four is the USB cable. So it's got a USB plug, USB-C plug, and a USB-A plug. And this cable is for charging the stabilizer. Item five is the storage pouch. Item six are the manufacturer's instruction uh, quick start guide, and, but it's not in this kit. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna unfold the stabilizer. So grab this end right here and just fold it upward. And to close it, just, it's a bit tricky, but you just wanna like fold it like here. And then there's a little notch here on the back of the handle. And then there's this little triangular protrusion that goes into this notch. So you have to like somehow do that. And to unfold it, make sure this part, this hinge part is face, is on the same side of the front of the handle. And then you can, extend it. Okay, next thing to do is to take the smartphone magnetic clamp. Just be mindful, one side has uh, a camera icon and an arrow indicating which, um, on which side the, your camera lens is supposed to be. Okay, so let me just get my smartphone ready. Okay, I'm going to attach, so here's the camera the lenses for my smartphone extend. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to, let's see here, I've already installed the DJI MIMO app. It's available on iOS devices and Android devices, so I'm gonna open it up. It's not necessary, but it is helpful. It does allow you to, for example, manually change the exposure settings, like ISO, shutter, and exposure value. Um, you can't change the aperture because smartphones typically have a fixed aperture. Okay, so on the back of the next smartphone clamp, there's a white dot, and you just align that with the little pin or dot, I don't know what it's called, on the top motor. So just going back this, the, uh, the gimbal actually has three motors, three circular motors, and that's controlled independently by the thumbstick. Okay, so I'm gonna attach the smartphone clamp, it's magnetic. Okay, and then the handle has a few important buttons. There's an M button that allows you to toggle among four different modes. And if you have the app installed, it will tell you the name of each mode as you select it. I do recommend experimenting with the four modes, but if you're not sure of which mode I say maybe the second one, the follow mode, excuse me, the tilt locked mode is okay. And then to turn off the MIMO, you press and hold, excuse me, turn off and to turn off the Osmo Mobile, press and hold the menu button, or the M button. And then turn it back on, press and hold the M button here where my thumb is. Okay. And again, depending on which mode you're using, using the thumbstick will control one of the motors to change one of the axes for the smartphone gimbal. And if you find you've rotated a lot, on the back of the handle is a trigger button. If you press that twice, it will reset, it should reset. There we go. I just kind of reset it. Now, this button here, the record button that starts recording, if you have the MIMO app installed, you can always just use the touch screen alternatively. Now, under the record button is a circular button. That's useful. You press it once, it will toggle between the front facing and rear facing camera of your smartphone. If you press it twice, that will toggle between portrait and landscape modes. I actually press it three times there. So twice, 
to toggle between portrait and landscape. Now if you press it three times, it will toggle between photo mode and video mode. There's three presses, one, two, three. Of course, you can always just select it from the touch screen. So again, press once to toggle between front facing and rear facing cameras. Press twice to toggle between orientations. And then press it thrice to toggle between photo and video mode. Okay, and then if you want, you can attach the grip handle for longer length or if you just want to record stationary. And then to charge the handle on the right hand side is the USB port. So I'm actually going to just turn it off. Uh, just a general tip, actually before I turn it off, while you're recording, just kind of go slow. Try not to have a lot of jarring movements. I mean, the gimbal is intended, like the purpose of the gimbal is to stabilize and just orient the camera so it's level, but you don't want to like move too quickly. You don't want to like reset it while you're recording because that, again, that's especially jarring. So I'm going to turn off by pressing and holding the M button, removing the smartphone, folding the arm down, unscrewing, and that's the DJI Mobile Osmo Mobile 6.